So you have a Roku Premiere or the Premiere Plus and you have an issue where you get a flashing or blinking black screen. It could be on the home screen. It could be on like another app, like you're watching Netflix or like YouTube. It doesn't matter. I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. By the end of this video, at least 70% of you guys should be up and running. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that your auto adjust display refresh rate is off okay so let's go ahead and click on the uh, home button go to your home screen and then we're going to go down to settings move over to the right now we want to go all the way down to system right there move over to the right now go all the way down to advanced system settings right here now move over to the right and then we want to go down to the last one right here it says advanced uh, display settings move over to the right move over to the right again if you have this on turn it off okay if you um, had it on you turn it off now go ahead and see if you no longer have a uh, blinking or a flashing black screen if you still do then we're going to go to the next possible solution so the next thing we're going to try is uh, make sure you're um, you're on the uh, Roku here on your TV it's on Go to wherever your TV is plugged into. Mine is plugged into right here in this outlet. Put the TV on, pull the plug. Wait 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, plug it back in, turn your TV on, and see if you no longer have a flashing or blinking black screen. If you still do, we're going to go to the next possible solution. Next possible step, let's make sure that you have the latest software update. Go to your home screen, go down to settings, Move over to the right and then go all the way down to system. And then move over to the right and then go down to where you see system update. System update. And then go ahead and click on OK. Do a check now and see if you have a uh, software update. If you do, download, install it, and then test to see if you no longer have the blinking or flashing black screen. If you still do, then we're going to go to the next possible solution. So the next thing we're going to do from here is we're going to go ahead and restart your uh, Roku player simply by using a key combination on your remote. Okay, and this is what it's going to be. So follow along. Here's the home button here. Home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Up once. Rewind twice. Fast forward twice. We'll do it together. Home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Up once. Rewind twice. Fast forward twice. TV is going to act kind of funny like that. It's going to basically freeze on the screen for 15 seconds. Then it's going to restart. Once it's booted back up, see if you no longer have a flashing or a blinking black screen. If you still do, we're going to go to the next possible fix. Okay, so the next thing I want you to try is... You have your Premiere here, you have the HDMI cable here, and the other um, side of the HDMI cable is plugged into your TV. It's a possibility that one of your, your HDMI ports could be um, like defective. Unplug it out of the TV, plug into a, another HDMI port, and then test it. Now, if you're still down, the next thing I would advise is it could be an issue with your actual HDMI cable. So if you have another one laying around, go ahead and give that a try. You want to preferably have something that's high quality. Okay, I have a link below to uh, Amazon if you want a high quality, high speed HDMI cable. So if you're still down, it could also be a possibility with the uh, power cable here. Okay, so what you may want to try is if you have another uh, micro USB uh, cable, go ahead and pop that in here and see if that works. Another thing is too is a lot of you guys may have the uh, USB part plugged into the back of your TV. If you do that, there's a possibility that it may not be supplying um, enough power. So what you can do is pull the USB out of there and use like a, um, a wall adapter and plug it into an actual outlet and then test it out and see it. See if it's uh, no longer a black screen or a flashing black screen. Now the last thing I have for you is to perform a factory reset. We're going to factory reset. You're basically going to be losing everything. And once the factory reset is complete, it's going to be as if you just bought the um, Roku Premiere brand new and took it out of the box, okay? So for the factory reset, there's two ways to do a factory reset. You can use the remote and go to the settings or the other way. If you're not able to get to the, uh, if you're having a constant on um, black screen issue, another way to do it is you don't need the remote or the screen. You have your Ro Roku Premiere here. If you look on the back here, you'll see a reset button 
right here okay so get yourself like a um a pen or a, a toothpick or like a, like a needle or something like that now what you want to do you don't want to just press it one time and then let go because that's only going to restart the roku player what you want to do is press and hold and do not let go until you see the roku logo appear on the tv then let go and that may take like you need to press and hold it for like 10 seconds or so okay so pretty simple if this work for you let me know what option works for you give me a thumbs up if it didn't work for you give me a thumbs down so everybody can see like i said we should have a 70 percent thumbs up ratio good luck guys